A friend of mine sent the link of this Netflix movie a couple of weeks ago, and uh, initially I thought it was Today's Bread. But, uh, well, it happened to be Yesterday's Bread, meaning it's a 2019 movie. Hello and welcome to my Nollywood Diary. My name is Janelle. Um, before we delve into the movie for today, please like my page, drop a comment, follow me on YouTube and make abreast on Nollywood movies and what not. So the movie on the review today is Joy. Yes, it's a movie on Netflix. The movie, well, I couldn't help but compare it in my mind to Oloture. Yes, of course, because they are in the same family, human trafficking. So let's delve right into the synopsis of this movie, Joy. Joy centers on Joy. <laughs> She's into commercial sex trade. She's a street worker, a prostitute, or as commonly called here, an Ashawo. In the abroad, so she can take care of her family back in Nigeria, her daughter, and also debts that came with the trade. Like that wasn't enough. She was saddled with a reluctant precious, who's a small girl, a teenager, so to speak, to teach her the trade, else Joy will pay off her debts herself. Joy eventually found some Something close to love, Abi found her. It was like an escape for her from all the whole wahala she was going through. But her superstitions from back home would not let her be because she felt she squealed on her madame, which was against her juju oath. So things were not exactly good for her at the time. Plus, asylum was uncertain, even if she squealed. Joy eventually paid off her debts, but it came with a price and her delving into... I would just stop there. Dislikes. One, I don't understand how this movie got to Netflix. Two, this movie actually won some awards. I was like, what? Why? How come? Probably because uh, of the genre, human sex trafficking. I feel maybe that's why it won some awards because I was really shocked and then online to see if no limi wakakom. But a couple of people he liked the movie and i was like whoa seriously i ah. <laughs> suspense it there was no climax there was there was nothing engaging about the movie it was it was almost boring i had, i just had to force myself to finish it because of you so you know so in just in case the movie climax to the uh, towards the end so i have something to say that's why i even finished the movie if not it was terribly bland it was oh my gosh it was <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just had to do that. It was just terrible. The acting was below average. Mm -mm. There was no passion. There was no connection in this movie between the actors. Ah, uh, uh, the movie did not actually live up to its genre. Okay, you say we're watching a movie about sex trade, and there was no scene about sex. No, it was like a religious film. Anyways, just because I don't exactly like the movie don't mean I'm trying to belittle the context of the movie. Well, commercial sex trade, it's its something that's deep and very emotional. It did well in capturing it, in trying or attempting to capture it in a movie. The deep buds, that's the angle. That's, I think, it's where I would say I like the movie. But any other thing, it's a, it's a no, no for me. At this point, I give joy a one star rating. Please, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this movie joy, because I just, I seem to be like the only one that doesn't like this movie. So I'll hear from you. How did you see the movie joy? What's the high point of the movie? Where did the movie climax for you? I'd love to hear that. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and you know, do all of that to stay abreast on Nollywood movies and whatnot. My name